See, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And also in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And God said, let us make man in our image. And God blessed them and said, go and be fruitful and multiply. But instead, all men like sheep, God is afraid. Each of us turned to his own way. And the Lord caused the iniquity of us all to fall on him. All sin falls short of the glory of God. So the word became flesh and dwelt among us. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. See, the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Believe in me and you will receive everlasting life. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will dine with him and be with me. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. So how should we live? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all comprehension will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This book of the law should not depart from your mouth, but you should meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. But then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have success. Let us consider how to stimulate one another to love and good deeds, not forsaking the assembling together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more, as you see the day drawing near. Go into all the world and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. For lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. That's not the rest of the story, because Christ died for sins once for all, the just for the unjust, in order that he might bring us to God, having been put to death in the flesh, but made alive with the Spirit. He saved us, not on the basis of deeds which we have done in righteousness, but according to his mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. It is by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not as a result of works that no one should boast. Therefore, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith. In the Son of God, who loved me and delivered himself up for me. So I urge you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present yourself a living and holy sacrifice, acceptable and pleasing to God which is your spiritual service of worship. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may know what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect. And do not love the things of the world, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the boastful pride of life, is not from the Father, but is of the world. So how can a young man keep his way pure? 
by keeping it according to the word. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. You see, all scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness. And now we have received, not the spirit of the world, but the spirit that was from God, that we might know the things freely given to us by God. And you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and the remotest parts of the world. For this, I am not ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power of God. For salvation for everyone who believes. Amen.